Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back again. Let me just get the sound going so you guys can get that wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Star Ladder I League Invitational Season 3. We took a little bit of a break, but we're back again. Couldn't stay away for too long. It is going to be Mouse Sports facing off against Team Secret. And we are in the playoffs now. It's it's time to really party. We're in the, the midst of it. The uh, winner's bracket semifinals is what we're currently sitting at. Um, Steven, how you doing, my man? Good as always. Happy to be here. I need to redo this thing again because I'm just the worst. I'm the Ten worst in the world. Remaining. You know, I went to go play some Dota last night and I, I had everything set up and now I'm going to need to do that. Remaining. Oh, lordy. All right, we're back into it. Um, Nature's Prophet, IO, Bounty Radiant Hunter. Uh, so this looks Switch like a, a Mouse Sports lineup. They, they get everything that they want. Secret apparently are going to let them play their game. What do you think of this? Team secrets turn to I, I mean, I think it's it's a good thing. You know, it's it's the best of three. You might as well just let people play what they want, and you just focus on your own game. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, if it proves to be a huge issue, then you address it, right? Then you then you then you kind of realize, okay, we can't let this happen. But until then, let's just stick to our game. And I'm sh and I'm I'm pretty sure they're they're confident in their ability to make their own draft work anyways they don't i don't i feel like they don't really like to address not really like address the other person's draft but just more focus on Ten their own play style. and it's been working for them you know you go back through the uh the rest of these qualifiers and the way that it's ended up going um secret have looked like the dominant force in europe obviously they haven't played uh, some of the other tier one teams yet, and that's something that we might see in the very near future. Because uh, later on today, we do also have King Gwen facing Ten off against OG. And you know, it, speaking of which, Mouse Sports just yesterday was able to take them down Five in a, uh, a, a best of three. Um, took it to three full games, but they won. Uh, so that's something that I think a, a lot of people might not have been expecting. It goes to show that uh, in this new season with new players, maybe not everything has gelled between all of the top teams, and maybe some of these teams that have stuck together, like Mouse Sports, uh, have a little bit of an edge on them. Yep, it was definitely not something I expected, but at the same time, it's not that surprising. Does that? I mean, is that fair to say? <laughs> yeah, no, that's with you. I'm with you. I mean, I mean, you, you definitely just look at the matchup, right, and you would say OG is probably the favor. I don't know, 75, 25. Right. But these, I mean, these things definitely happen. O OG, you know, they played at TI, not exactly the the uh, greatest of results, but maybe they just took a long, Ten long period of time remaining. off. Just need more time to uh, figure things out with resolution. Five seconds remaining. Yeah. No, I'm with you. And, uh, you know, I didn't get a chance to watch the game. I think we were actually casting a game while that one was going on. Uh, but... It's, you know, something I'm going to go back and probably check out and see what ends up happening, uh, why it was Radiant that that went hit. the way that it did, and, Earth's you know, what it was that Mouse Sports is able to get right. Uh, also, we should mention real quickly that this is another stand-in for Team Secret. It's still not Fata that's playing with them. Uh, this is Sparta, and I think it's being, was being spammed out in chat. He's uh, another Jordanian player. Um, I actually got the pleasure to meet him and cast with him Ten randomly um, at the WESG middle eastern and african finals where he had made a, a team with a couple other jordanian players and bisa oddly enough who has dual citizenship and a jordanian passport um so very uh, odd collection of groups but it was a really cool event um it was the tournament that we just saw the uh the little trailer for as well right before this started and their team won the whole thing and they went to the the global grand finals it was team abu shamala and uh he played really well there i think that he was the offlane player for that team as well um so getting another stand-in but i figured i'd throw out that little trivia and a little shout out to a guy who i remember him thinking like god i just hope that i could uh, get a chance on a, a big team and all of those guys were because they hadn't get a chance to really play for it and you know this is the first step for that a stand-in uh, maybe he ends up getting vouched for by one of his other teammates and they're like all right we'll put you in at this moment and See if you can rise to the occasion. Yeah, I mean, this is always a great opportunity, right? It's not every day you get to play with a bunch of high-level players, like extremely high-level players and well-recognized players on a very well-recognized team. So better make it count. Sure. Well, and we'll have to take a look now at the draft because we've been talking about other random stuff the entire time. And holy Toledo, Io Bounty Necro Lycan. What what does this team do? 
I, <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to figure out how this works exactly. Because, I mean, the support combo doesn't really have natural team fight abilities like ever, right? Nope, not at all. But <laughs> this is the way I feel like the way this kind of a lineup gels together is uh, you you basically play around Necrophos. Well, it's to be fair, it's kind of like you play around Necrophos and Lycan. I mean, Ly Lycan, once you turn on the ulti, you're very mobile. You move beyond max speed. Bounty Hunter is kind of there for the setup, and Wisp can relocate your Necrophos in or even even your Lycan sometimes. And depending on this last hero, I I'm going to have to assume Mouse Boards, I mean, Radiant they just want to bang their head against the wall. That That's the kind of lineup this feels like Ooh, it's going to yeah. turn out to be. Wow, and I, I like this one right here, though. The Timber Saw for Ace. This is, I think, one of his most played heroes, if I'm not mistaken, from back in the day. Um, and he really makes it work well. It's a little bit rough sometimes against remaining. Necro, but, like, besides that, this looks like a completely free Timber Saw game. Five seconds remaining. I don't even think it's uh, that bad of a time against Necrophos. A lot of times, Timber Saw, when they feel like they're threatened by a lot of magic damage, they just go straight for the... The, the hood or go straight for a pipe and that's like a good enough answer to deal with a lot of the incoming magic damage yeah fair enough and well the rest of them as they sit it's going to be nature's prophet we've seen a lot of that played recently witch doctor earth spirit um this to me feels like secret are very well prepared to take fights and then also get objectives afterwards um we also saw that brood second phase ban i think with this lineup for mouse you just had to ban it there's no way that they're going to be able to get away with a brood pick uh, in this one. Um, but last round, anything that you feel like uh, Mouse Sports needs to round out their draft? Or I guess it's going to be Team Secret as the first pick. So uh, what what are they sort of missing? It feels like they have a little bit of everything. For Mouse Sports or for Team for Secret? Secret, Secret, sorry. Um, so far, I think Team Secret just want a, an, an answer for Lycan. You just want like a right clicker who can actually... Uh, make it so that Lycan does not have free reign uh, when it comes to these team fights. Maybe Bloodseeker here would be really good for Ooh. Team Secret. And Mouse Sports, they definitely need some kind of lockdown right now. They need a, they need a lockdown initiator type of hero. So uh, Earthshaker is actually still there. I, I think Earthshaker is actually okay, but you run that risk of dealing with the Timber Saw, and you're also against a Earth Spirit, so it's kind of scary. Uh, Nick's assassin that was banned out by themselves. I think they could have remaining. used a hero like that. Mm. No bad rider either. Five seconds remaining. Uh, maybe uh. maybe Earth Shaker is your Team best option. Turn to I'll take away the dark seer too. Yeah, it's, it's sort of tough. It feels like they kind of have to play that that pick off game almost, and that's something that Earth Shaker is very good at. But Team Secret, they have the first pick and. Well, you mentioned the Bloodseeker. Uh, Troll Warlord also comes to mind. It's something we've seen a lot of. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, I guess, well, it's going to be a mid one hero, probably. So Five I think that, like, remaining. he played Terrorblade out of the mid. How does that sound? Terrorblade out of the mid? Uh, I, I just don't like Terrorblade too much here. It's just because it's against the Necrophos and the Lycan. I think you. Man, it Radiant actually doesn't do that bad, but pick. I think Bloodseeker is. Okay, well, they're going to go Death Prophet. Oh, that's pretty interesting. I, I guess it's this another way to go about it is uh, just a kite him. Okay. Bunch of yule, bunch of yule scepters as well as uh, a sprout from Nature's Prophet. Might be enough. All right. Ten seconds. Well, remaining. I'm excited to see how that ends up working out. DP for mid one. Five seconds. I don't know remaining. the last time that I saw him play that hero, but it feels like it's something that could work with him. Mouse Sports now their last pick. Only eight seconds left. Or shaker oh. or bust. Uh, oh, okay. You may now select your hero. I would have liked the. Uh, what was it? I already completely forgot what I was going to say. Never mind. Okay, no problem. I mean, this kind of fits the same sort of style of hero that you were mentioning about a pickoff oriented person with control. Uh, it doesn't really do that much for like the the team fight. So it does really feel like they're just completely all in on pick off one hero and run the hell away <laughs> or do you think that, that that's not true do you think that they can like stay in a fight no they they can definitely stay stay in a fight I, i'm just a little worried about the lack of disable that, that's all they might have to itemize towards it yeah. um 
Obviously, Earthshaker provides a lot more when it comes to disables, but Elsie potentially isn't that enough to get the job done. Remaining. You definitely need lockdown if you're gonna kill off a timber saw. Five I mean, right now they don't really have an answer for a timber saw. They would have to like just like nuke the crap out of him before he uh, gets the timber chain away off of one Reaper site. That's basically what's gonna happen here. Yeah. Either that or they duel him. So it, it, timber saw is gonna have a very good game in my i i, I feel you know i played a, a game with a necro and a legion recently and i, I felt so inadequate <laughs> like when we were doing it because we would like jump in and duel and then try and reaper him and the legion would never get damage or the reaper scythe wouldn't end up connecting and finishing it off it just always felt bad so i went i went brown boots dagon and then we lost super bad it was terrible um i, was, I mean i appreciate the idea at least yeah it's cool, right? You know, you blink in, you Dagon with Necro, you let the du duel come out from Legion. But uh, we're going to have to see if that's the way that we end up having uh, Mouse go, if they're going to try something different, as maybe next time it's going to head out across the map, and it looks like Yapsor is going to be able to get his ward down without being scouted, I think. Bounty heads over this way, and Earth Spirit, do they run into him? They might in a second. Uh, it doesn't look like it. The smoke is wearing off now, so he should be able to get out of there for free. Maybe next time they spot him. Ace is going to be there behind the tower, as well as Sparta. And, man, Secret, they are they are really just hugging the, the corners here, not wanting to get caught. Ooh, maybe next time. Gonna get a lot of information for his team. Secret don't want to show seconds to where they are laning right now. Yeah. Well played. <laughs> Alright, well, there's five of them here. Um, so, I, I guess, what are the lanes that they're looking for right now, Team Secret? Uh... I think they're looking to switch up their lanes just to punish. It's not like, I don't think they're actually afraid of any matchup, the but they want to be able to position themselves uh, to punish a player, certainly. So, Nature's Prophet is going to be up here instead. going to be soloing up. I don't think, I think they want to make sure that the Lycan doesn't have a good game, but okay. Mouse Sports are anticipating this, this, this line, or this lane setup. So they're going to put the Lycan in the off lane now. Yeah. And I think I've, I've talked with this, I don't remember if it was you or somebody, but saying that the matchup of Legion versus Timber isn't as bad as it would immediately look because you've got, you can press the attack off the debuff from Whirling Death. Um, but it also is like a pretty high mana cost as well, down bottom. They're going on to Skylark and ended up taking a moment of courage, so he is in a little bit of trouble. He's just going to have to back out and hope to pick up some type of experience here. Well, that, that would probably be a discussion with someone else. Because if it was, if it was me discussing that, I, I would say that uh, LC doesn't have the greatest of times against this. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's. I guess the thing that they're saying was it wasn't, like, absolutely god awful, uh, okay. but Puppy is gonna. Well, he's gonna die. Uh, so that's a pretty quick and easy kill. And. Well, definitely a, a help there for a mouse team. Always welcome. First blood going in the way of the uh, bounty hunter. Gonna be picking up his boots. Oh, yeah, mid lane, they got him. Maybe, possibly, can they get there in time? Mid one thinking about diving that. Do they turn it back around though? Mid one went in for the kill, and he did end up getting it first. That was uh, very unfortunate for Team Secret. I think mid one was expecting Yapsword to tank the tower for him. Mm. But they end up trading. It's, it's not the worst. Oh, roll forward. Maybe next time. Gonna be dealing a little bit more damage than Yapsword was prepared for. And he actually just might be dead. He does have a boulder smash. So he's gonna need to use that on maybe next time to get himself out. Can he get out of there? He needs... I, I thought he was going to boulder smash I, there. I did too. I'm surprised. I thought he was going to kick him and roll away. Yeah. 
I mean, Roll was still on two second cooldown, but he at least had kick. Huh. That was very surprising. I mean, he's a liver there, right? I'm not crazy. No, no, you're you're definitely not crazy. I don't think he needs to die there. All right, well, Bounty Hunter certainly having a great time at the start of this one. Maybe next time, uh, already almost level three, and well, he's got himself boots and also 700 gold on top of that. Yeah, maybe next time it's gonna have a really good game for himself. Oh, they know where he is though. Might get baited here. Do they have a sentry? Yeah, they have a sentry. Okay. They're 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 baiting him. They know exactly where he is. Oh, they're waiting. They're walking forward. They're hoping they're for pretending something. like they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna fall into this trap potentially. Because he's gonna come back this time and Yapsoy is here. They have okay. dust too. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Not gonna be able to find the kill on the bounty hunter. Denied. They still don't know that there's that sentry ward there at least. Uh, so that's something, but I don't think that maybe next time is really going to be able to be in a position to do anything about it. Um, yeah, with, with, with the way the, these lanes are going, it's uh, going to be a long wait if you're just banking on this uh, on this sentry ward. <laughs> right. Oh, well, here we go. They get no bounces from it. They're also going to pop the howl and now trying to get body block. Sparta, can he block him off fully? They're almost there, but no, with the IO coming in. A little bit too much. Maybe next time, level three and a half right now. Wondering if they should give a little space for him, you know, before the 10 minute mark, just to get him to six as soon as possible yeah. without having to rely on uh, the need to use the tome. Yeah. That would be really nice, and then you can. You know, give that over to your IO maybe, get relocated up at a decent timing. Um, it looks like he's just going to keep on wrapping around here. Uh, again, in the mid lane, there's some possibility uh -oh. for damage to be dealt. And Puppy. Uh, the jump forward, Puppy in trouble. They do get off the Malefic or excuse me, the Maledict first. And maybe next time, almost taking him down. He's just alive, barely, but will be brought down. A dominating streak for maybe next time. This is... Uh a pretty insane start for a bounty hunter. He's almost level four, and he's got four kills under his belt. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nuts. I, I mean, this is the, his hero. This is what he was known for. Normally, it was when like people weren't expecting all the courier snipes and stuff. It's nuts to see him still get it done, even though it's like you know several patches and bounty's been changed a bit. Another roll in. This is a nice way to start it. A decent amount of damage. They also have a shuriken to follow it up. If they can get within range, they're going to decide to go into Yap's or taking him down. How does he keep getting these kills? <laughs> <laughs> it's like everyone stops attacking. It's like, yeah. let's, let's get some bounty uh -oh. beyond God. Mid lane. Mid one's barely going to live through that oh. one. Can they do it? Is it going to be enough damage? He doesn't have enough mana for a death pulse. He needs a little bit more. And no. Well, looks like Thug didn't do the math, but mid one did. I think yeah, I think mid one is gonna win that match or win that fight no matter what anyways. I think even if he had a death pulse, since he's already uh siphoning, I don't I don't think there's any way that Thug was gonna get that kill. Oh, duel on puppy though. Yeah, they got him, maybe next oh, time. Maybe next time. Yeah, he's gonna get it. Again. Oh of course, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Uh, Roland going to Skylark? Yabzor? What? That- what? You missed this your is... boulder! What is going on? Why is suddenly everybody here? Ace is running down as well. They have a creep wave. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened. I mean, that's great for Mouse. Yeah? Radiant uh -oh. structures are fortified. Spartan? Spartan has to be careful. He's gonna die in like one hit. Radiant's bottom He's trying to jungle. Yeah, you do need to be careful there, buddy. Radiance bottom tower. Well, fallen. they take the tower. Uh, that's the strength of a timber saw that, you know, goes for this. A lot of points in reactive armor build. I think he's going to max it as well once he gets into that level. Maybe he doesn't. Yeah, I don't know if four attack. points are as much. You can take tower with it, but I don't know. So early going, uh, six to two. It's still a net worth lead to secret in spite of that, but I, I feel like... 
Mouse has really gotten into that like first round of, you know, out of the laning stage pretty okay. And that's that's tended to be where Secret make their money. Yeah, that's really true. I think Mouse Ward right now are going to be happy with how the lanes have gone. They're only down in net worse because of the tower that they lost. And another duel coming out, Sparta. Yeah. Oh, stun on the two. Sparta's just going to give him a little walk away. Skylark did the wrap around the tree maneuver. Not often seen. Um, but it doesn't end up really mattering. They don't find a kill. And Madara is just going to farm here. Nice little attempt. Radiance Even if they don't get the kill, they are putting in uh, a bit of pressure. Skylark not getting any dual damage, though, unfortunately. And a lot of uh, secret are down here. This is... That's the dark area of the of map, movement. too. They don't they don't see this. And so Lycan, he's going to get caught off guard. Pops the ultimate almost immediately. And, well, they're thinking about chasing. Can they get there in time? They get the first stun to follow it up. They actually don't end up going for the sprout. Wouldn't have been long enough duration, I guess. Well, the thing is, he has a crawling blade, so they don't even... Yeah. They don't even bother. Top lane, though. They do find the duel on to Ace. And four stacks of reactive armor. He is quite tanky. They don't have enough to kill him. Now oh, Ace. Gonna farm stack. Wait, maybe next time. He is a shuriken. Uh, he needs to be careful here. I don't know if they can actually do this, but oh, mid one. No, trying they to need take to get out. They can't, they can't kill him. He's got a hood of defiance. Like, there's absolutely no way. Oh, and now they got Spartan. That's a quick kill. So maybe next Let's time we'll probably Ace. stick around. Yeah. He's full health. So yeah. He just tanked everything. That is really the strength the Timber saw. They let those reactive armor stacks get up there and... It's just too difficult. They need uh They need the wish to hit level six, and uh, if they want if they want to gank Ace like that, they need to bring in the next next place. Okay. And even then, I feel like it's kind of oh, Skylark. Oh no! Didn't end up seeing that. Yapsor dies in the mid lane. Uh, when they use Reaper, there's no way that maybe next time could take the kill. He's six zero and one still, and does have. Level 5, uh, just about sub Radiant 10 minutes. So, I mean, with track starting to get up soon, it's starting to feel like maybe Mouse could pull away with this one if they're capable of keeping on trading. They're definitely in a very good spot right now. Both supports, like, I mean, they have the luxury of deciding who who takes the, the, uh, the tome right now because both of them are actually pretty close to 6. Especially with how Spar Spartan's been playing right now. He's just kind of sitting in the jungle. Yeah. And look at that. He's, he's sick, so... In fact, the Tome can just go to maybe next time if they decide to uh, pick that up for him. Yeah. And with with that, this lineup is ready to go. Compare that oh, to here the comes the relocate. See, look. Yeah, they go the bottom. Lane. They're going on to Sparta. He's getting out of there. He's going to be able to run away for the moment, trying to get him out, but will eventually fall. And that is the danger. Oh, but... mid lane, though. They want to turn this. All right. Boulder Smash comes through. The Maledict. Oh, God. Yeah, they ran into the wrong neighborhood. This is the big problem, and that's going to be Thug most likely going down. Well, he's actually able to get off another Death Pulse, and the buyback stick charges as well. Can he do it? No. He's not going to live. Going on this. All right, Skylark oh, looking for the duel. They're going to try and turn this. Do they have enough damage? The Boulder Smash again goes through. And instead, it's going to be mid one getting the duel victory. Oh, no. <laughs> that was not the game plan. And now, oh, Lord. Bottom lane. Puppy does go down. But well, simultaneously, Ace is able to punish. So multiple kills all around the map. The big winners in this is Secret. You cannot underestimate exorcism like that. And they didn't have the level six on Bounty Hunter. They didn't have Reaper Scythe on Necrophos just yet. Well, actually, even if he had, even if Necrophos had the ultimate, I mean, that was just the worst position to be in, right? They yeah. relocated back into all three of them. I'm, I'm surprised that Spartan decided to relocate back in there with, uh, with Thug. I, I think that the better option would have been to just leave him bottom and pressure the tower and not fight the mid lane, especially since they had time to react to the uh, the Death Prophet ulti as well. Right. Yeah, that's it's definitely a little bit questionable, that decision. And, you know, you saw there he ended up buying back as well on the IO. Uh, so, well, what was a nice little lead for them has sort of shifted back into the favor of Secret after that one fight. Granted, this is all... Not going to be as big of a concern if they can start getting some track kills together, but Secret have definitely righted the ship and are putting themselves on a path towards 
Uh, I'll pull in ahead here in the next little while. Alright, this is a good one. They can get Sparta here. Duel comes out. There's the jump board. Okay, this could be really good for mouse sports. Or really, really bad. If they get caught really again bad. like this. Oh my god. They jump through and maybe next time dust it as well. They're going to be able to bring down Skylark with the Maledict. And oh, this bounty hunter kill is so big. Oh, Yapsor picks it up as well. And that's going to be a full earn. At the same time, Lycan takes the tower. But three dead for the dual victory and a kill onto Sparta. Not sure if that's worth it. It took much longer than I thought they would have to just get that kill and get out of there. I mean, they have four heroes there. Yeah. And uh, they were still unable to just separate from each other and just get their one kill and leave. But still, track kill is a track kill. That was definitely not worth it, but they need to keep up this kind of pressure without without uh, sacrificing that many kills. And maybe next time, gonna find Puppy. I think he saw that. Uh, they keep on trying oh, to pick on lane. this Nature's Prophet, and it's just not working super well for them. Sparta is gonna get caught out this time. It looks like he's gonna die. So at least now it's starting to pull together. And I guess that, that that's the target you kind of have to go on, huh? I, I, the, honestly, they have a lot of different targets to go on. They, the only thing is, like, you can't really go on them when they're grouped up together. It, right. I think Team Secret's Death Ball right now is just really, really strong when you have to fight uh, into the Death Prophet, as well as the Timbersaw. Like, Death Prophet with Timbersaw moving around together is just too much for Mouse to handle, in my opinion. They have to deal with everyone else. Oh, everyone else is down here. So I see this. This is one of the issues. Uh oh, they need to get out. Gotta say, um, it's not been. I, I don't know if like he's lagging or something, but the Absor's uh, Earth Spirit has been a little bit questionable this game. It's weird because you normally see like how you know composed he is on these other heroes, and this one's been a little bit rough. Oh, top lane, he's Puppy. Top. They're making it happen, man. Puppy. Almost solo killing Madara, but a couple others show up cats? for it. Yeah, that was insanity. And they don't break the TP either, so... That was Earth Spirit also getting out of there. There was two wolves and a whole wave of creeps. And he's, <laughs> he managed to keep Madara stun-locked with the cast. That, that's some terrible luck. Or great luck, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, we're, we're a luck half pull kind of guy. Guys, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> well, you can see right here, Yapsor just like playing that support role of making sure that mid one is always going to be healthy, uh, has an urn ready for him, and you know, staying right behind in case there is a gank. Because that's the thing, like the way that this lineup is built, Mouse are just going to be looking for pickoffs whenever they get an opportunity to, and it's pretty hard to kill off Ace. So they're kind of just like sending this Nature's Prophet out to die uh, whenever there's an opportunity for that to happen and they're making sure that mid one lives that's what it feels like to me at least well i, th I think the the thing is i'm pretty sure secret aren't trying to just five man all the time yeah. even though that's where they're strong you definitely don't want to just five man all the time because you're just gonna get out farmed by this uh this lichen and necrolite so i think uh sacrificing sparta is not exactly the worst he's kind of like making space for the rest of the team because at the end of the day, you do need someone who can keep the lanes pushed out, and I don't think Ace alone is going to be enough. Right. Uh oh. So this is this is the role that Sparta has. Puppy is coming in though. They're relocating off to the side, and it looks like now oh, Sparta oh, they get it. This. Oh, great turnaround though. Look at that. Thug is going to point out. Thug does manage oh, to actually find two. He is going to live through all of this. Twenty stacks of death pulse, but he might not be able to live to land it through the TP. So when the TP is broken, he's going to die. I was thinking that they didn't have another stun left, but they did have one more. Um, so, well, great combo still, and they end up trading two for two. I mean, I'm pretty sure Mao's are happy with that. It was yeah. two track kills, so they do end up with a, a slight gold advantage. EXP slightly in uh, Secret's favor, but oh, I hear a Death Prophet ulti going off. They want to take Roshan. Yeah, this is nice. This is really good, and... I don't believe that Mouse have an inkling that this is happening. Vision around the map, nothing here. I always wonder when I see this if the bats show up if your mouse hovers over it. And it's 
fog of war. Oh, that doesn't. Shouldn't. Yeah. It's one of those spectator bugs with vision. Um, yeah, but if it did, I mean that that needs to be passed immediately. <laughs> if it did. I know for a while, if you did a pugna ulti, it it would show on the map for the enemy team if you were pugna ulti and Roche. Um, but anyways. Yeah, th those um, spectator glitches, or not even spectator, like the graphic glitches, are really, really annoying. Yeah. Oh, oh, totally. It's hard to. Sometimes it can be one of those, like, not game breaking. I remember that for a while there was, like, a bounty hunter one where you could see the smoke showing up when he went for the shadow walk. Um, I don't think that one's still going. But, anyways, Bloodstone is up for Ace. So now he has all the capability in the war. Apparently he wants to build another one. Uh, Skylark is so about. patient right yeah. now. He's going to find Sparta at this rate. Sparta is going to uh, make the mistake, maybe. Yeah, here he is. Yeah, here we go. All right. Do it. Where's, your, the, where's the relocate? Thing. They're afraid. Oh. They're, they're no, trigger shy. It's because Sparta is in next to someone to relocate. Oh, top tower is under oh. Attack. Sparta or Sparta. Uh-oh. Sparta. Run away, buddy. Sorry, Spart Spartan isn't near someone to relocate. Got it. I think if they coordinated that, though, I, I think there was a, a bit of miscommunication. Madara actually was t probably telling him to duel him. Dyer's oh. top tower Wait, what? Is under attack. Radiant's little late, buddy. Is under attack. A little late. Radiant's well, they, no, they break spot. the tether? Uh, no, he just walks away. He can right. still tether. Yeah, he has gone. Uh, well, he's le okay, he's just leaving him up here. Yeah, he, they realized that Spartan was going to die back here. That's why. But now they got the relocate or the TP in of it, potentially. Seeing if they can find Thug. They're moving in this direction. They got him. There's going to be the initial bounce. Puppy, though. Ah, he's in trouble. He's going to get caught up because of that. What is happening? <laughs> I don't know. There's a little bit of questionable plays going on right now. But mid one, pops ulti in the mid lane, and... Well, it looks like that is going to be a tier 2 tower taking some damage. I think there was a miscommunication between uh, Puppy and Sparta, and, like, Sparta, uh, Puppy wanted him to TP in closer, so that way they could, like, kill them both, but they didn't realize maybe next time was there. I think Sparta alone isn't even enough for one kill. Oh, they're going to go on this. Skylark, he's looking for the duel. They're going to get the duel to see if they have the damage for Ace. Yeah. I feel like, uh... Damage is non existent right now. They don't have the damage. Well, maybe actually. Okay, they take down one. Legion is there at the very least. But Spartan, can he end up going down? He's able to get the relocate away. So they got one kill as Madara takes down the back line. Spartan and mid one able to kill off Spartan. So I got to keep up with my Sparta, 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 Donia. That's a stun on the end. <laughs> and two for one so far as the exchange. As Ace is going to look for the finish. Madara still running away with that invis rune. They won't be able to find him. Why they gotta be bullying Sparta? He's just a standard. I don't know, man. You're supposed to you're supposed to bully the rest of the team, not <laughs> not the stand-in, so that the stand-in looks as good as possible. Yeah. You're helping him with his resume. <laughs> I don't think that he's actually doing that bad of a job, though. If I'm gonna be honest. No, uh, he's he's not, but. They keep on picking on him. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that right now Secret are in a better position, though. That's the other thing. I feel like they've been able to sort of... Uh, like, Ace has 14 Bloodstone charges. You look at mid one. Um, Aegis still there for how long? Another minute and a half, but uh, Boots of Travel and Veil vale with a, a Solar Crest? By and large, I, I think that Secret are very happy with the, with the way the game's going so far. Oh yeah, definitely. They're they're like just much stronger in my opinion when it comes to the five banning or team fighting in general. Because I, I don't think Mouseboard actually have an answer for their team fight. Yeah. They they cannot take engagements like that. Like they they absolutely have to split up on the map and then just wait for the right opportunity to go for these these pickoffs. Because I mean you saw what happened there, right? They dueled the timber saw and timber saw is pretty much invincible. Yeah. And then I think the same thing would happen if Death Prophet was was uh, was dueled as well. He's got Solar Crest. He's got the the Veil. 
I just feel, extremely tanky. I, I feel like the, if they're gonna do that, they need to get a uh, Silver Edge on Legion Commander, and that might be a way to make it happen. Because then you can at least take away the reactive armor stacks because it won't be building up. Um, that that's like feels to me the only way that they can start the game off by doing the timber saw. Maybe you just don't want to duel the timber saw. That's the other idea. Uh, oh, top lane, Madara in a bit of trouble. He's gonna roll in. Yeah. Silent. Well done. Oh, wait. Ended up getting a little bit of an awkward kick there, but they will still find the kill. Mid one picks it up as they get ready to push in. Radiance Meanwhile, Sparta possibly going to get relocated on here. Maybe next time is scouting him out, but I don't think that they can do that. Maybe next time needs to get back home. Spartan, nobody there to relocate with him. I mean, I guess that's the thing. They're bringing in the Legion Commander, and that's going to be the way that they try and find this kill. No, stop bullying him. Uh, he gets away. Run away! Oh, oh no. Oh, there's no way. He's not getting away from that. Yeah. So. I mean, space creative. Yeah. They took the tower. You take that tower. You take that death for your tower every day of the week, I think. Oh, man. Look how he's actually behind now because of how many times they, they've hunted him down. He's actually. Every time he dies, he's played more and more carefully, and they're still finding him. Yeah. That, that's how badly they want to find him because everyone else on the team is sticking together. He's right. the Radiance only one who Middle isn't with the team, so they kind of realize like this is their only option. Yeah. And Radiant I mean, it's not like Sparta can sit in the fountain, right? So yeah. Well, and they need him to be pushing out these sidelines uh, to make sure that they can keep the pressure on. Maybe next time, getting some very deep wards. You take a look at this. It does kind of leave their own side of the map a little bit vulnerable, but. So at least be in a slightly better position. Skylark, they they know that they're going to be coming down here. It's actually going to be Ace that's the one to come and define this. And with Necrophos in the area, there's no way you try this. Again. Oh yeah, they got to bounce out. It's a courier kill at least. That's a nice pickup. Yeah. Yeah, they can't go on. I mean, they're sticking around. No, no, no. They're waiting for someone else right now. Not for the timber saw. If they see anyone else, then it's just it's just very valuable information for the rest of the team. They definitely know that there's no way they're going to get this kill. And uh, the Silver Edge is going to actually come from the Lycan. Lycan already has the, the Shadow Blade, as well as the rest of the Shadow uh, Silver Edge queued up. Yeah. And they understand that they need to kill him off. Is there anything else that... I guess against DP, it's pretty good. You get that damage reduction. Um, yeah, but besides that, I don't know if it's really. I mean, that's kind of questionable. They find him again. No, not again. <laughs> Roll in. Okay, maybe they can find something in return, though. They do have that legion caught for the moment. The rest of them are showing up. Can they catch him? Can they do it? No. He's just gonna TP away. That's gotta be depressing for Sparta. He died with the rest of the team around too. Yeah. I mean, he just doesn't have anything to, like, make it work. They, they're going to be able to find him like that all the time unless they get a gem or something. And maybe that's the answer eventually, is to get a gem. I think Puppy will most likely be the one who buys that. Puppy actually has a surprising amount of, uh, of items. He's got the casual buckler as well as the medallion. 17 armor on, on Witch Doctor. This guy feels pretty good. Ah, uh, it's the classic Puppy! The buckler! <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah, I mean it's still something that a lot of people do. I mean I do it. I, I do it a lot too. I, I actually really like the the uh, the concept behind it. It's such a it's such a good pickup. Yeah. Five armor and two to all stats. It's great. Maybe I'll start it's buying bucklers. Because cool. cool. I mean chainmail is five hundred fifty for five armor, right? Buckler is like six hundred gold, and you get two stats as well as the plus two armor on active. It's such a great pickup. Well, oh, maybe next puppy. time he's found puppy. Let's we'll see if that armor ends up paying off for him, or if possibly. Well, now they're in a little oh, bit of trouble. They're out. trying to get out of their shadow amulet for all his work, but we'll end up being maybe brought down. Now he gets that relocate away. Nice. I mean, not, you know, this is actually finally going Mouse Sports way. They, yeah. they they needed to play like this for quite some time. Oh, maybe next time. Sparta's spooked. He doesn't want any part of this right now. I mean, he's okay when he has his friends around. 
But the thing is, like, it's DP who can survive through a, a gank like that, Timber Saw who can. But the other three are kind of limited in their ability to, you know, stand toe to toe against this. Um, granted, that being said, through all of those kills, Legion Commander only has 24 dual damage. Yeah, unfortunately, he's always there to lock him down, but never actually getting the kill on time. Right. So, really unfortunate for him, because I think the damage actually would help them quite a bit. Well, Courier is going to go down here. Radiance Courier. Had some wards on it. They Radiance also take down the tower and... Well, after what's been a very trying set of affairs, Dyer's keeping all these lanes pushed out. Attack. Does look like... Oh, TP back in, puppy. Show up and they're going to end up retreating now. So the lane will be pushed out. Madara? Madara? It's found the no. They don't have enough damage. Yeah, they're all TPing them out because bottom lane, they found themselves Skylark. I think they're happy with that, though. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was like the entire team, so... Mouse Sports just kind of making the space again. They get to push out or move out of their base and farm a bit. Yeah. I think they found him in the trees there with uh, Nature's Prophet. Um, so, Mouse now, where do they go? It just feels like it's more of the same, right? There's, there's not really anything wait, else. Wait, wait. They don't Bottom have relocate, lane. though. Oh, wait, they do have relocate. Not like that. All right, TP, buddy. Oh, is he going to get out? Yeah, he gets Ooh, out. That was close. They, if they had relocate right there, he was super dead. But Spartan wasn't near anybody. They didn't end up going for it. Radiant are scary. Well, Roche is back up again now. Um, for secret, do you think you go in there, pop ulti, and then try and make something happen with the Sages? Uh... Wait, they're just hiding against it. They're not actually going. I was looking at Thug's item build. Look, he has the same idea you have. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm telling you, it's great. Answer. You get Dagon and then just Ultium. Um, I think probably, you know, getting Treads, Veil, Force Staff, Hood, and a Wand is probably a, a, a safer route to get there first. But we also have mid lane, ultimate pop. They got the creeps to take it. And nobody's back here to defend against this right now. And well, Legion is going to go for the long wrap around. Does have a smoke here as well as a blink dagger and blade mail jumping forward. Oh, Able to find mid one right at the start. But look at her dropping. That's going to end up being a kill. Mid one is gone. Now Secret need to get the hell out of here. The combo with the Dagon, they weren't fully expecting or prepared for it. Skylark dropping low. Can they kill him off mouse? Staying in this fight right now. Modara going to pop oh, his Madara ultimate. Has shift now. This is oh, it. that was a good block off right there as well, though. The stun comes through. Well done. Sparta trying to TP out. Is going to be able to make it puppy. going to stand tall and keep them all back. Trying to find the kills. He's doing so much freaking damage so with tanky. that ultimate. But Yapsor somehow threads the needle and finds his way out. Reapplying magnetize. There's the Yule Scepter Radiant's lift up. Can he run away? Can he get out of here? I think the answer is maybe. Is he actually going to do this? Ace shows up. Makes a big old splash. But they don't have oh, enough they damage. Got the and they got the mana stolen. They need okay. to kill him. He has the gem. Now Sparta thinking about where he can go to get into there. But it's not going to be anywhere. They can't get in range. And oh, they lose Ace. Oh my god. Look, look at that Dagon pickup. You, you shouldn't have never doubted yourself. <laughs> Was that really the big thing that made the difference in there? Oh no, absolutely not. Okay. It, it definitely helps, right? Like, you actually have the burst damage now, which pairs up with your ultimate, obviously, but uh, a big part of that was Skylark's initiation. They, I think Team Secret were just a little too confident with their, with their Death Prophet. I think uh, mid one, uh, overestimating how strong he actually is. Because, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I definitely overestimated him too, right? I thought he was going to be perfectly fine. Uh -oh. And they just dueled him. Well, uh -oh. Malfort's get out of here. Staying alive, Puppy, almost going to end up going down here. I mean, they end up getting that Timber Saw broken by the Silver Edge, so he's getting damage reduction. And, well, Madara, Yule Scepter lift up. Can they get anything else to follow it up? He's pretty quick, but the stun is there. And, well, another Sprout that's oh, nice. away. Oh, great right, play by the They need to get out like, right now. That is the biggest victory you could ask for. Just get out of here. Oh, maybe next time. Going to give him a chance to see if he can make it out. And it He's looks like that TG. chance is there. Oh, oh wow. that is so sick. All right. Oh, that is so sick. 
<laughs> Mouse playing it well right now. Look at the swings. Almost 6,000 gold, 6,000 experience. It was a big old turnaround. And, you know, Mouse showing if they get their heroes and they play their type of game that they want to play, they can make stuff happen. So now, if you're if you're secret, you have to be very careful about having your cores just. Actually, I wouldn't say your cores. Death Prophet, Death Prophet is now very vulnerable to uh, the mouse board lineup simply because of this Dagon pickup. Yeah. There's actually enough magic damage on on their side to just instantly kill him because he went for a bunch of armor, right? He's got the Solar Crest, he's got Evasion, he got the Veil of Discord. So 24 armor, more than enough. Uh -oh. We're gonna find Spartan. Most likely gonna die here. No. Yeah. Tried to go for a very, uh, <laughs> very desperate smoke, but I was certainly not gonna work. You talk about all that armor. Like you said, it doesn't do a hell hell of a lot against a Dagon 5. Necro has the gold and he's making it work for himself, and I don't know. I, I don't know how you deal with this thug. He's also at Spell Amp, too. I think it was uh, Visa who would constantly tell me about his great ethereal Dagon 5 Necrophos build. He thinks it's the only way to play it. And if you actually get to that stage, I mean, of course it's going to work out, right? I mean, who's actually going to survive E-Blade Dagon Reaper? Uh, they don't have any detection. How do they have no vision oh, they're here? they're just going straight in. Uh, there's the is jump. They find the kill. Skylark gets the kill. They're going to be able to find even more off the back of that. Skylark takes the Aegis. And, well, they are going to get the Puppy Ultimate, though, and the relocate away again oh, on absolutely nothing. Mid Look at the mid lane. They're in there relocated in, but Dora's taking it down. Tier 3 tower already gone. Secret losing their base. What the hell are they going to do here, Thug? Staying alive just barely. He is going to finally be brought down, but it doesn't even matter. But Dora, the Necro Book, he's done so freaking much, and he's just going to TP his way out of there. Secret are getting played. Oh man, this that was something else from Mouse Sports. That wasn't even the whole team. They didn't even want to win. I think they could have won the team fight, honestly, if they all committed there. But at the end of the day, they decide to split up. They still win the Roshan engagement. They take Roshan. Skylight gets the Aegis. He gets the cheese as well. And then they take a tier three, two tier threes, and the mid racks. That is. I, I mean, could you even describe that without plate? That was... I, I mean, that's the thing, right? Is like, it's not only did they take the better and fight and they won the objective, they got a second objective on top of that and still won the fight. So like everything that possibly could have gone good there for Mouse did. And I, I really have to question, you know, going into that Roche pit with no vision outside of that entire cliff area. They didn't even have sentries down. Like, I don't know. I... It, it feels like they're starting to get desperate, probably, and so they felt like they had to make a move, maybe? I, I, well, what's your read on that? I think that's partially the case. You, know, you, you uh, don't want to really hesitate. You, know, you have to make a decision and just go for it. So they do go for the Roshan, but unfortunately, like you said, just not paying off. A lot of uh, small mistakes coming out of Team Secret that you don't normally see. All right. Uh, Mouse sports, they're they're making it work, taking advantage of these little mistakes. And this is a bounty hunter now who provides so much utility to the team. Has Guardian Greaves Blink Force. I I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> but maybe next time has had himself a hell of a game and going to be able to get into some of these later damage talents that you don't normally see. Um, I really want to see what his build is because I haven't seen a bounty hunter get this farmed in a really long time. Like, Shuriken Toss, 120 damage. You can think about going for that Janata cooldown later. I don't know, the sky's the limit. I think as a support bounty hunter, you're more likely to see the Shuriken Toss damage as well as the 25% evasion. 25% evasion is just a ridiculous value for, uh, what was it, effective health pool, so. All right. Not going to be too much there. I think if, if there's one more item he's going to pick up as well, it's most likely just going to be uh, Lotus Orb, I would have to imagine. 
Oh, Madara, he's found Ace. He's got that silver edge. They're really thinking about it. They're bringing everybody right now for this one. They're going to try and take oh, him down. Done. Ace in trouble. Trying to figure out where to go. He does have a jump away. Do they have any way to break this? Not quite. I'm just kidding. He knew what was up. Yeah. Well, that was pretty sick. Uh, and Daya's I don't know. I, I'm, I'm trying to like sort of collect myself because it feels as if this game it can turn completely on its head. The wolves scouting, the, the bounty hunter scouting, always having track on these people, and they don't really have a ton of uh, items to deal with this. Like, you have a Yule Scepter on Yapsor, maybe needing to get into, like, a Lotus Orb on these heroes? I mean, Lotus Orb would help, but it's, like, a little too late now. No no one's actually going to be able to farm into that. Yeah. And that's, like, a really good point that you brought up. It's something that we didn't praise Madara and uh, maybe next time enough for it. Like, Madara's wolf control this game has been extremely good. He's always on top of them. And, well, they're gonna find Skylark. Oh, man. All right, well, secret, they found one. Now Thug, can they get him as well? There's a good four staff away. In the meantime, mid one is mid and about to get gone on here. Can they bring him down? Actually, they're able to find another kill on this part. Madara wants to go for the top racks. Okay. Yeah, no backdoor protection, actually. They're going to be able to take this, it looks like. So, Madara running in, taking this down. They pop the glyph, force that one out. Madara doesn't actually have his quelling blade right now. And instead, he's just going to man up and take it out, trying to break through backdoor protection. Is he actually going to do this? Now he's forced to run away, but they get him with a blind sprout. Oh, all right. Sparta, always forget it. They got him. That was well done. And that's going to probably... Ooh, misses the magnetize. That's fine. Nobody saw it. Don't worry about it. The follow-up stun is there, and they get the kill. All right, that was some classic Madara stuff right there. It's got to <laughs> happen at least once a game. Mid one is completely alone. What are you doing here, bud? I mean, there's three dead, right? Why would you be afraid? Okay, that's why you got to be afraid. That's uh, why you got to be afraid. You don't respect the Dagon. Yep. That is why you have to be afraid. Why did I doubt you? You were right. <laughs> I, I guess I think part of it too is like she does. I, I don't know if it would have made any difference, but uh, no Yules too. Um, I wonder if like just a casual hood or something would be good. Uh, but even that's kind of like it sucks to have to build that at this point. No, I, I think you're right. I think the, the the hood is probably the better option here. Yules doesn't really do anything for you. Yeah. Uh, Lincoln's is also good, but. I mean, the issue right now is that they're oh mid lane. They're gonna yeah. find the duel on Yapsor. Uh -oh. This is, I mean, two dead. They have buybacks, but I mean, lane at least is pushed, getting pushed in. But Madara is gonna be up in a in a moment. He's gonna go for shutout. out. Yeah. I mean, Sparta can keep on going for these split pushing type of plays, but they can't keep getting picked off. And the problem now that I really see is that. It feels as if Skylark can pick off anybody solo almost. Like, they don't even necessarily need to have a big relocate in. I guess it depends again on who it is. Like, if it's a Timber Saw, you gotta bring a couple, but. Radiant are scanning. I think just to be on the safe side, you're always gonna want to bring in someone. I mean, you might as well, right? Because it, yeah. it is gold in the end. Right. That's fair enough. Well, it's 20, uh, 5 to 23. It's a little bit of a swing back into the favor of Secret over the past couple of minutes. I am worried about this Necrophos uh, Aghanim Scepter down to a 25 second cooldown on Reaper's Scythe. And just how much that's going to be kills over and over and over again. He's about to hit his level 25 too. He's just two levels away gonna have an extra 400 life making him extremely durable yeah is anyone else going to be 25 soon on their side no i don't think so yeah closest 25 we have is a timber saw and well timber saw 25 is kind of boring nothing really to talk about yeah i guess this game um i mean the attribute reduction it's like okay for there's three strength heroes I guess. Um, that could be kind of cool. 
Do you think that that's worth it, or is 20 strength just better? I think 20 strength is just better. Uh, I want to see if Skylark goes for the dual damage one. I doubt he will. Press the attack is too good this game. Mm, you never, never, you never really know. Yeah. There's always that small chance. I mean, if you look at how they're playing right now, it's just everyone split up. Yep. Skylark splitting up. He's just constantly looking for pickoffs right now. Well, and it feels as if Secret know that they need to be playing it a little bit differently, just because of how how terribly the last couple minutes have gone. I mean, you look at this the way that maybe the last what is this ten minutes? It's uh -oh. all been into their favor. Uh oh, he's gonna get caught, and well, they blow him the hell up. He does end up oh, living through her there, but the relocate back over here. They've been able to find the duel on the mid one. Got him caught again. Can they kill him off in time? They are going to be able to. Yapsor needing to run away. He gets the blink out, but. I... And Roshan is up, so this is going to be a very easy Roshan. I don't know. I, I, I guess that there's not really a better way to play this right now if you're, if you're secret. It's just that they keep on getting caught out. Like, could they even go for, like, a group up and push style of play, or is it too scary with already, like, these racks exposed up top, and... I, I'm starting to feel like at this rate, you're gonna have to all in. Yeah. Otherwise, the mouse wards are just gonna continue to do this. Like, does this ever get easier for Secret? Do they ever get to a position where they can, uh, you know, start to, to deal with this pickoff style of play, or, or does it just get worse and worse? It's just getting worse and worse. I mean, look at that last engagement. It wasn't even close. It was just, how fast can Secret run away from this team roll? Yeah. Well, they are moving up towards the top lane now. Wolves already there, scouting it out, taking it down. There's the relocate back onto Puppy. A solo IO. I don't know about that one, but he will still live through it. They bait out the Witch Doctor ultimate, and... Well, he's just going to stand there and look at it for the moment, but there's going to be the Yule Scepter, the lift up immediately, so Sparta can stay alive. He is not staying alive any longer. Dead in an instant, but they buy back mid one. Now trying to chase. They have Magnetize onto two, but there's BKP as well. Madara. They are trying to chase him down. He is going to die there. Exorcism. The hell of an ultimate. And it looks like Thug. Yeah, Thug, he will have Reaper Scythe back up shortly. Um, he could actually think about turning onto this in a second if he could maybe kill off mid one. I don't no, know. He if needs, he needs to go it. for someone else. Okay. He needs to go for like Sparta. There's no one else he can. He kill. has cheese, so this might be a turnaround moment. He needs the he needs cheese. To Sparta, right there. All right, yeah, there's one kill. There you go. Now he needs to get out of his life he's away. Gonna, yeah, that's, that's all you can ask for. Yeah. Yeah. Take down the Furion with you. Because if you look at the. You know, you're not going to do enough damage to mid one. You're not going to do enough to puppy as well. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of surprised. I think Nature Prophet actually would have not died to Reapers there if Puppy was able to glimmer him. But I think Puppy was actually out of mana and a little too far away. Oh, okay. But it's actually so hard to kill off Puppy with the the Dagon Reapers combo because he has glimmer as well as Hood of Defiance. All right. Yeah, it's uh. Quite good at dealing with that. What's his magic resistance at right now? Then he's sitting at a casual 52%, and then obviously that gets increased when Glimmer Cape is there. The jump into the mid lane, they've been able to catch him. They also went for that attribute reduction, but maybe next time we'll be living through that. So Timbersaw did decide to go for that plus six percent. Okay, I can I can respect that. 20 strength only going to help your survival, right? And he hasn't exactly dealt with dying. He's six one and six, so. Going for that little uh -oh. bit of extra damage. Oh, relocate. Wait, what? Oh, Spartan is just split pushing. He's like... Oh, I, that's so ballsy. <laughs> I'm sure mid one is like so pissed off about that. It's like, how is this I, guy I allowed be, to do yeah. that? This is when you start thinking to yourself, how is this allowed to happen? Yeah. Uh, Wisp didn't go for the battery build. He's going to go for 10 strength as well as 120 GPM. Radiant and he's going to be... Uh, this is like the first time... Oh, top lane. Oh, not quite going to get out. There's the track for staff. Oh, not going to be there. They can still turn this, though, if they want to. He has nine stacks of reactive. Can they manage to get the break on him? It looks like they're looking for more over here in the mid lane instead. Madara not ready to help out his team. They're instead going to be going down somewhere else. Ooh, puppy found him. Too. All right. They oh, can't get it, though. Weird. 
I don't know what's happening there. I, I thought that they were going to try and go on him, but I guess that they wanted to just cut their losses and instead go down bottom. Invisibility. Radiant's top shrine is under attack. This is going to be the first game I'll dig that from what I've seen uh, with a, uh, a Wisp having a Heart of Taras. All right. I mean, then he's going to hit hard. Then you're the ultimate healer. If you can get that region going, you you actually heal so f you're he you probably heal faster than a fountain. I say you just go for the uh, the mask of madness build after that, man. Just go to town. You don't, you don't do that much damage. Calm down. I, I mean, if you turn on overcharge, 70 attack speed, how can they handle it? How can they handle it? And you have like you have like six armor. That's how you handle it. <laughs> All right, Madara walking in, ready to start the party. They are ready to hit away on this tower right here. The lift up on the Yule Scepter. The duel oh, is out already. Do they have enough damage, though? He is so what? freaking tanky. And now the relocate away for the Legion Commander oh, to try and stay alive. In the trees. He's actually stuck over there. He pops the DKB2, but he can't go anywhere. And now mid one continuing to do damage. Do they have enough to bring down anybody? The relocate back away again. But Spartan they have to get out. This getting not chased down, fight. he is going to end up falling. So they've taken down two already, and everybody else running the hell away. They can't find any more. That was such a weird fight. That was just a... I think that was just a mistake going on the Timber Saw. You, you cannot go on the Timber Saw. Especially yeah. when it's 5-on-5 five five engagement, and your initiation is to decide to go for... Uh, Timber saw. I do not think it's going to work out well for you. Man, Silver Edge Madara with the AC there, he just blows anybody up. And now he's got the Shapeshift Duration buff as well. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one for uh, Mouse going forward. I mean, that's the scary thing, right? You would think that with the Silver Edge Lycan, they'd be able to kill the Timber saw, but Timber saw was not in any kind of threat. He's yeah. sitting behind his team, Radiance who was able to give him Solar Crest as well as Glimmer Cape. It's, it is not an easy kickoff. You have to go for someone else. You have to go for mid one, actually. Okay. What's he been able to build into now? Uh, it looks like he just went for the BKB instead. So that's another route to go with this. You just walk in, you exorcism, use your 10 second BKB, and make sure that you don't die to the Reapers. Do you like that choice? You have to not die to the Reapers. I mean, that's what's killing him every single time. He yeah. doesn't really... He hasn't really itemized to deal with magic damage right now because he has no hood and... BKB is his only line of defense, so... If he's not BKB, I mean, he's just gonna die in the exact same way he has multiple times. Oh. Absor yeah, getting some D-Wards there as well. There is the smoke wrap around now. They're looking to find somebody. The other thing they need to be a little bit wary of um, is Radiance like, you know, when there ends up... Oh, attack. wait, hold on. I'm going to hold that thought. Madara's going into this one now. Ah, uh, just a little bit off the mark for the Absor, but they will find him here. But mid one, he popped the ulti. They need to run. Things might get a little bit too testy here. Silence. He does have Blink back up shortly and able to jump away. Skylark still living, but Sparta's found him. Now the TP away. They don't have any way to break through that BKB. This is very scary for Seeker right now. They need to push out these lanes immediately because Death Prophet does not have Exorcism now. The moment it runs out, Mouse Force might just go for another engagement. Yeah. 60 seconds is looking like it's going to be the countdown timer since that Octarine Core is going. So a minute of freedom for Mouse to try and make something happen. And they might just make something happen here mid. Ace is there, but so too is the Witch Doctor Puppy, the Chase. They got him caught for the moment. He's still very, very survivable here. And well, Spartan in the area as well. They turned a fight. There's going to be the Sprout. Madara doesn't have it. There's going to be the Quelling Blade, though. And that allows them to make his way out of their Puppy Glimmer Cape still alive. They were able to keep the rest of those Necro books out of there, so they didn't have vision. And now the follow up stun. There's going to be the duel, though. Can they take him down? No, Skylark. He didn't end up dueling. Probably oh, for the best. The Reapers. Are they going to kill him over here? They can't get it. The oh, silence is out, and that's just going to end up being them getting away. So, Thug 
relocated away from everybody else. Ace is going to be able to chase him down. The fight gets very, very messy here. And he actually ended up stoning him. So they got the caught and kept away from everybody else. But now Yasser's going to go down because of it. But the push back in might have just oh, meant the death of mid back. one here. So Sparta back into it, but he's just going to get eaten up again by Madara. He does have the Coin Blade. Coin Blade's the wrong tree, but maybe next time finds him. That's going to be the kill. Can they find any more? Ace looking for an opening now into Madara. And they still can't keep this Lycan under control. That shape shift talent is so good, but now he's going to be out of it. The Reaper Sight comes oh, out. They, they do him. blow up mid one. All right. In that entire span of, of an advantage, it's going to be Mouse Sports coming out on top. 14,000 net worth lead in that fight, 3,000 of it. That was such a chaotic fight. Oh, and look, it's Spartan, he has it hard to ask. Yeah. I need to see this regen, he's just hitting it. I told you, he's a puncher. This guy's a puncher, and they don't know how to deal with it. There's the jump board, Reaper they Sight comes out, they him. got AIDS. And now looking for Puppy, they buy back. They are able to get another Sprout, and Sparta trying to do what he can, but gonna end up being Spartan. Ran down, pressed the attack, still living through this, has so much freaking HP. They can't actually, actually do it. Can. You actually can't kill him, because he has overcharge as well as Gloomer Cave, and he's still, he's sitting on the cheese, like he actually does not care. Alright, Spartan has the cheese available to him, might need to pop it now. The Glimmer Cave, as well as everything else, they turn it back around, there's the Dagon level 5, they're not able to kill him off yet, Thug, trying to run away from Ace, but Honestly, at this point, it feels as if it's maybe next time and, and everybody else is doing whatever the hell they want. The oh, sun comes through on the two. They just don't have enough damage. They can't kill these people off. Maybe next time, can they even bring him down? I think that they'll be able to. And that's also going to be the gem. Oh, on the other side, though, reaper. you take a look at it, and that Reaper's Scythe cooldown from the Agonim Scepter is just too hard to deal with. Mid one's going to get ran down. He is going to pop ultimate. They're trying to take down Spartan. He eats the cheese right in their face. And he's still going to live through all of this. Skylark pops BKB, blinks away. He's living as well. Madara turns on to mid one. Another round of BKBs popped here. Oh, Thug, he's going to get Reapers in a second. And they have oh, enough damage. No. They're going to instead get the relocate away. It's just a couple of inches movement away. Yeah, he's still living through this, though. They turn, they stun. Is it enough damage? It doesn't look like it. He turns. Do they have another Dagon? Two seconds away. Thug's still living through this. As they throw out the Dagon, there's going to be the Reapers, and the GG is finally called. 38 to 28. Mouse Sports oh, take down Team Secret in game number one. Wow, oh, that was a sick game, actually. I was just, I was just watching Sparring the entire time. That was, uh, it must be so much fun playing Wisp when you're in that position. <laughs> he was just so tanky. He even had a cheese ready at the end. Like throughout the entirety of that last team fight, I mean, Mouse Wars is running circles around them at the at, in the last engagement. And, I, I really I mean, overall, yeah. Oh yeah, I, go ahead. I was just saying, I I just that last fight, it felt so. I mean, it was at a point where Mouse could do whatever they wanted, and it didn't matter. They were just going to win the fight no matter what. Fourteen thousand healing by Spartan. Like, I don't know that the IO did I, a lot. I, I mean, the thing is, the whole team played really well, and I, I think so. I think right at the beginning of the draft, you were saying Mouse Sports were able to get everything that they like to play, you know, the Wisp, the Bounty Hunter. So now that Team Secret has experienced it once, and they got a little more experience with their their uh, stand-in offlaner, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to see some adjustments here. I don't think you you want to test that a second time. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, I think that if you give a, a team their comfort heroes and it's it's kind of asking for trouble a little bit, but they, they want to test themselves and see how far they can push it. Um, this is a team also that when they've looked good, it's tended to be like win the early game super hard and then from there just snowball the rest of the game. And this was an early game that they came out even, if not maybe a little bit behind. Uh, if you look at the way that the sort of net worth graphs and the, the levels and items started to come out. Um, anything else that you might think about changing? Is it all draft stuff or maybe is it a little bit of uh, maybe a little bit of other changes that you might look for. That one's hard to say. Team Secret draft a lot of different stuff, so I think if anything, you just want to start by changing what you allow Mouse Sports to have, and then go from there. Okay. Well, we'll be back in just a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Game number two of Mouse Sports versus Team Secret. We're going to be live in just a few. See you guys then.